G'day everyone. This afternoon I'm going yeah 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 yabbying. Hey you! You're watching Robbie fishing. As we near the centre of March, it's only a matter of time before the yabbies just shut down and go off the bite, bury themselves into the mud and disappear. So I'm hoping to have a decent yabbying session today before it's too late. And there's a fair chance that this could be my last yabbying session. I've yabbied at a number of dams this year and this one has definitely been one of the better dams to me. Now I've got three collapsible bait traps, two of them have got three chicken drumsticks and one of them's only got two chicken drumsticks because I only had eight chicken drumsticks to use because I ate the other five or four or six, whatever there was. Anyway, let's get the nets in. Collapsible bait trap numero uno is in. Collapsible bait trap number duo is wrapped around my foot. <laughs> I reckon I can just do a little bit better than that. Take two. Collapsible bait trap number numero duo is just there. He's in. Collapsible bait trap numero trio can go just out there. Uno duo trio. I think that's Latin for one, two, three. But anyway, the nets are in. No doubt I'll give them an impatient check. I reckon I'll give them at least 15 or 20 minutes, then I'll check them like David Beckham. Righto, folks, it's been about 20 minutes. Is 20 minutes enough? Are the yabbies still on the bite or is it too late in the season? Let's find out. Uh oh. Not a single yabby. That's not good. Right, net number two and the march flies are just absolutely insane at the moment. Ugh. Yes, I've caught two, three. One of them's too small. So I've caught, I'm on the board. I am on the board. I was, uh, after catching nothing in the first net, I've been a bit worried that maybe it's, uh, Getting a bit late in the season. Look at that, he's unarmed and still dangerous. He's got no claws, but he's got a big fat tail. That's got no eggs, he's got one claw, and this has got not a big fat tail. He's a bit on the small side and he can go back. But that's a relief because there was nothing in the first net. Beauty. Right, net number three, net number trio. Catching three in that last net was very refreshing. And none again. <laughs> Back to reality. None, three, none. Oh, I'll give him a bit longer this time. Right now, I'll put a little bit of grass in there with him. As the late Tony Greg used to say, a little bit of grass. That'll help them from uh, stop them killing each other and also enabled them to climb up and get some air. Now I've got two. If I can get 10 or a dozen that size, I'll be happy with that. And like I said earlier, there's a fair chance that this could be my last yabbying video, or last decent yabbying video for quite a while because the water's gonna start cooling pretty quickly from here on in. Right, it's time to check them again. They've had about half an hour this time, about 10 minutes longer than last time. Last time I went zero, three, zero. Let's see how I go this time. Hopefully 20, 30, 40. <laughs> Probably not even th three like last time. Whoa. I reckon they've already started disappearing, folks. I think it's, uh, you know, it doesn't take long. Once March gets here, sort of towards the end of summer, once you get to the end of summer, they start to just disappear. Right, this is the only net that caught any yabbies last time. Can old faithful deliver the goods again? And build on my telly of two. Oh my god. Look. Look at the size of that. One, two, three, four, five. There's six yabbies in there. And they're all, one of them's a little bit small, but the other five are huge. That was unexpected. Check them for cackleberries. This one's the one that can go back. Bit on the small side. They're really muddy. They must be... Look at the mud. They must be just starting to bury into the mud, I reckon. 
See how they're really dirty and muddy looking? They still taste good. Look at that, the one with the least amount of bait in it. The other one's got three drumsticks and he caught nothing. This has got two drumsticks and it's bloody hit the mother load. Look at the size of this big kahuna. That is a good size yabby in anyone's book. Bloody ripper. Beautiful. Right now I'll get old faithful back in. I'm gonna start calling this net old faithful. There you go. Ah, shit, it's wrapped around your leg. Good on you, Robbie Coit. Swear I'm related to Russell Coit sometimes. <laughs> with that job over and done with, it's time to hit the road and check net number three. Right, net number three has got how many? One? None. Can you believe this? Oh, it has, it's got one. That's not a bad one either. Not a monster, but it'll do. So, I've caught all up 10 yabbies. I've kept eight and thrown two back. And nine of those 10 yabbies have come out of the one net. I'll throw it out further. The time has come to check the nets again. Now, if, it's, if the pattern continues, none in here, not many in there, and heaps in the middle, well, I might move all my nets into the middle of the dam, I think. <laughs> if there's nothing in here, I'm moving it to the middle of the dam. And I'm moving it to the middle of the dam. Isn't that incredible? Not one in this net. But before I throw that in right next to the net that's been doing well, I'll check this first, and I'll throw them back in at the same time. Right, the super net. Oh, faithful has been unfaithful. No, it's got one. What he'll do? He's not a monster, but he's just he's just made the cut off. Probably only because it's uh, possibly my last proper yabbying session for I don't know, six months or whatever it is, eight or nine months until spring. I will go yabbing again, it's not the end of the yabbying, but it's unlikely that I'll have any really good yabbying days now, from here on in. Some places do, some places will yabby really well right through until sort of April, even May. I think they tend to happen, that tends to happen more in really deep spots, like big lakes and stuff. And net number trio, if this hasn't delivered, I'm moving it towards the centre more as well. And I thought I saw something in there. I must have been seeing things. Nothing. That was really bad. We're going to move it closer to the center as well for the, the grand finale. Alright, I've got two nets right next to each other there. This one can just go out there. I've got three nets right next to each other here because that's the part of the dam that's uh, producing the best. Righto folks, it's time to check the nets for the last time. This time I'm going to pull them out and leave them out. Just done a bit of a calculation in my head and I think I've caught 10. Can I build on 10? Let's go and find out. Right, now they're all close together now. All three nets are the same, the same sort of part of the dam that's been doing okay today. Can I build on my tally of 10? Uh, not with that net. Might as well just do them all in one go. This is the net that's caught the most yabbies today by a mile and it's got one little one that's too small and it's got to go back. It's getting to that time of year, folks. It's getting to that time of year. Oh, yes. Aha. Two. Two more. And where's my bucket? Over here. Now, here's a nice yabby. He'll do. This one's a little bit small for this dam, but I'm going to throw him in. There's no minimum size on Yabbies, and he's not a tiddler. He's just not really big, but that might, these might be the last Yabbies that I get to eat until springtime. Every year in the autumn, the Yabbies bury down into the mud and they go off the bite. 
Some dams, they go off the bike quicker than other dams. Some will go well into March and April, maybe even May. A lot of them in my area in particular, they just shut down normally about the middle of March. And it's the middle of March now. There's a fair chance that this might be my last proper yabbying video until after winter. I'll be, I'll be trying. Hopefully I'll catch more. But don't be surprised if I don't. Folks, thank you very much for watching my yabbying adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, why not give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.